to be here tonight representing the Byers campus. <laughs> and also to be uh, presenting this year's Courage Cal Core Value Award. At the Byers campus, our director and previous Core Value winner, Brad White, is notorious for his book recommendations. <laughs> our leadership team, yeah, we do our best to, you know, make it look like we read them all. Um, but one of those readings, okay, okay, a summary of those readings um, has really stuck with me. And that's around the Stockdale Paradox. The Stockdale Paradox. It maintains that in the face of challenge, one must face it, confront it, name it, and then stay totally optimistic that you can prevail. This type of resilience, this unwavering courage, is what makes this year's core value winner at our DSST Buyers Campus so exceptional. She walked into our building October of 2015 for an interview to join a team mid-year that was fighting to found a center program. Uncertain at the time if she would fit in with her fierce and fabulous mohawk. She was fortified by her family and stepped into her role as a special education paraprofessional with skill, with strength, grace, and dang near immediate success. Then, the role of founding office assistant for Byers High School caught her eye. Undeterred by a lack of experience, this burgeoning, self-proclaimed paper pusher applied for the role. It was a world of new challenges, and yet she persisted. She excelled, she planned, she executed, she built relationships with students and parents so locked tight that she's simply their person. There was seemingly no limit to the courage in taking on new challenges. I would say, um, can you take a crack at the new orientation letter? Um, can you do prep uh, for the bank this month? Are you ready to have that difficult conversation? Would you check in with a student uh, to try and get him in dress code warning? He really doesn't want to be in dress code. Oh, actually, can you um, step in and present the orientation slides tonight? Oh, I, I know you hate public speaking. It's only gonna be about like 200 people. And time and time again, she courageously responded with, um, sure. <laughs> and it continues. Two years ago, I told the team I'd like to pilot going to one desk at the buyer's building. Was she ready to found the role of registrar and own attendance and enrollment for a whole campus without a clear path of what it was gonna look like? You better freaking believe it. <laughs> The change was intimidating, but she faced it alongside our brave ops team that could. <laughs> oh. And then, last year, her son Victor, a student at College View Middle School, was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And she faced it, and we named it. Her family fought it. And following her lead at Byers and across our network, we all became Victor Strong. Is there a challenge greater than this, than losing a child? From where I stand right here tonight, it's hard to imagine. And yet, our courage, core value winner, remained optimistic, empowered with yellow ribbons, new tattoos, in a school community that became family, we fought hand in hand. Yep. Resilience, my dear, dear friends, is coming back. Optimism is walking through our doors, even if everything isn't okay yet. And courage is waking up each day, putting on a hot ass lip color, and beating that face with war paint. Because our core value winner knows that there are still conversations to be had with our young Falcons about attendance. There are still bus passes to be sold. There are supplies to be purchased to support our staff. The challenges of the work we do are abundant. 
but the optimism and the courage from our core value winner is endless. So we can be fortified in hope. Please, please join me in raucous congratulations for this year's core value award.